How's it going fellow traders? It's Magic Trader here and I just finished posting the latest uh, hedge fund report for the CFTC data. This one's dated June 6, 2017 and um, so take a look at it. It's got some good information there. Broke down uh, to you an aha moment that I had this weekend while I was cooking up this report and reviewing my charts. So it's a good read, I think. You might want to check that out. All right, so let's start off with the gold chart and the data. What do we see lately? We see that uh, hedge funds went seriously long on gold, bringing total long positions from 250k to 312. That's a significant increase. But at the same time, they also increase shorts right here. And this came at this candle right here, this green one right here. So as price was going up, they're adding longs, forcing price higher, but they're also adding shorts, which tells me this is a beginning sign of some hedging. All right. Now it's a little bit early to um, to be confident that they're hedging at this point, but um, the fact that we saw this big drop right here in price and we see a big increase in shorts. If next week's report shows another increase in shorts, then um, it's pretty much um, telling us that price wants to drop down here to this newly created demand zone. All right. Right now, long exposure dropped one point from 75 to 74 percent, and we have a big increase here in net positions. They went from 167,000 to 204,000 net long. So they are long biased, but we are reacting to these areas here of supply. So they, but we are long biased. Just looks like they're expecting price to drop down so they can build up a little bit more longs and then bring price even higher. That's the picture that we're being told right now. It's not guaranteed, so I, I will continue to watch. You know, US dollar is hitting some demand, so we could get a reversal in price here on gold. All right, so let's go to oil. What do we see with oil? With oil, we see um, something very similar. We see longs increasing here from 595,000 to 624,000. And at the same time, we see shorts increasing from 221 to 242. All right, so slowly entering um, aggressive territory, just very lightly colored red. And at the same time, we have net positions increasing from 373,000 to 382,000. So this happens with this candle right here. Okay, so price is dropping back into a uh, back into that area of monthly demand and back towards that tested area of weekly demand. Actually, that's not demand because it didn't remove anything. So that's just an area, an imbalance located within the monthly demand zone here. So uh, coloration of the cells is not bright green like here. It's more neutral, right? These last three weeks, it's more neutral. So sit on the hands and do nothing. This chart's kind of a mess. I do believe eventually we're gonna get a move to the upside, but we don't see that happening yet. Uh, but with longs increasing, in such a, a large amount. I mean, long exposure, average size for, for longs right now, 638. So we're just sitting below that average size. And if you look at shorts, you see the average is 244 and we're just sitting below that. All right, so anything can still happen at this point. We can see longs being closed out and then price drops down even further to here. Okay, that's a possibility. You know, because we are reacting to a three and six months bearish engulfing up here. So, and this hasn't reached a two to one, so this can easily break and price drops. So, I want to see why they're adding shorts here. Okay, are they adding it just because they wanted to drop price a little bit further down to collect more longs and get a better entry for, for longs? Or are they collecting long or shorts here because they're trying to break through this area to cause price to drop? Right now, I don't know what they're doing. It's not clear enough for me. So because of that, I pass on this chart. 
next chart is the US dollar and what do we see here we're sitting just above this area of monthly demand but there is a weekly demand zone nested within that area and we're starting to get a reaction so shorts uh, are aggressive for the last three weeks they increase short exposure from 23k to 25k and at the same time they increase longs by just about 2k alright and this happens with this red candle right here so that explains why shorts are going up but as shorts were going up they were adding longs bottom line is longs are sitting above average right now and shorts are way above average average size is 11,000 we're at 25,000 so that's huge right look at the colorations of the, the cells here red so slight bearish bias but we are sitting in demand so we can't go short right so I'm looking for I want to see the big institutions filling in their demands filling in their demand orders we know that this is a valid demand zone here and we see a slight reaction of demand here but I don't see big demand kicking in here right average size is 51 we're just sitting above average so that's not that's nothing uh, that's nothing big net positions just went up a thousand that's nothing big all right coloration of the cells red so this is telling me do not take any trades so I'm waiting for a clear setup to go long and I'm gonna wait for the, the data to show me that and I'm gonna wait to watch the charts to see when the big uh, demand is kicking in okay let's go to the Aussie on the Aussie we have longs uh, being closed out by about 4,000 43 to 39 and shorts also close out by one so basically nothing's going on here look at the coloration of the cells blue neutral nothing okay and if you look at the overall exposure it's 50 50 okay net positions in the negative and this is as we react to this area of demand we saw a big reaction last week up here so all this data comes with this consolidation so next week we're gonna probably see either shorts being covered and or longs being added to but right now coloration of the cells is blue it means neutral don't do anything so I'm not doing anything because we could get a reaction to the downside like this very possible the fact that the US dollar is hitting demand if it starts to rally we're gonna see a drop in price here so I'm not touching anything on this pair as well all right US CAD I have positions to go long down this area here um, long exposure is very aggressive 120,000 positions long and 26,000 positions short so shorts are cooled off longs are aggressive the cells are dark green very very strong green color and net positions went up or sorry went down 4k but very strong green cells here very dark green so they are long biased uh, they're pretty much just waiting for the demand to kick in on the US dollar and when that happens we're going to most likely see that move to the upside so until that happens until I see some good setups and until I see some good demand coming in on the US dollar I'm gonna be holding off on taking any positions any new positions to the upside but again I do have orders sitting down here because they are nice looking zones uh, to take trades off but I'm just noticing something now that I would not like I have orders down here off of nice looking zones but we're right at the trend line here and if price goes down it creates a candle like this I'm not gonna like that right into my zone I'm not gonna like that too much because then there's a possibility of a supply area being created and although US dollars hitting demand and the belief is that price is gonna head higher nothing uh, nothing would surprise me at this point so different things can play out you gotta be very careful
So I will, I'll watch to see as price heads towards. I got alerts set up on my charts as price comes towards that zone. So as price does come towards that zone, I'll see what's happening with the US dollar. And if it makes sense, I'll leave the trade. And uh, if not, I'll cancel the trade. But at this point, I've got those orders there. They'll be sitting there waiting because we got very strong data here. This is very strong, 82% geared to the long side, very aggressive on their longs, and we're hitting a valid weekly demand zone, so I don't see a reason why um, price is not going to head higher from here. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We've got the Swiss franc. Swiss franc, they take off their longs from 27 to 23, so they are no longer aggressive long and shorts close off by about 2k net result is long exposure increases by two points and uh, net positions actually drops 2k from 18.5 to 16.5 so sitting within this area of weekly demand just like the US dollar and uh, we've got a trend line heading down here on the weekly so waiting for reaction again uh, on the US dollar once I see some real conviction that price is going to go higher, then I'll, I'll watch this chart on the daily and see if we have any good setups to take this one long. Otherwise, I won't touch it. Euro. So, Euro is sitting within a weekly zone, nested within a monthly zone, and longs are being closed off for profit right here. 176,000 to 164,000, so some profit taking. And at the same time, we see shorts become even more cooled off. So 103 to 90,000. And this happens with this candle right here. As it was penetrating very deeply. So they were just taken off their shorts. Taken, taken, taken off their shorts. Becoming extremely cooled off. And what ends up happening is long exposure jumps up one point to 64%. Total net positions is 74,000 geared to the long side. Very strong, but again, we are hitting a monthly supply zone. And even though it's not a good looking supply zone, we could get a reaction to the downside. Am I gonna take shorts on the Euro right now? No, I'm not. I'm gonna wait to see what the institutions are doing because the institutions didn't work this hard getting their overall exposure from 30% to 40, to 42, to 49, to 50, to 54, to 64, just for price to drop. You know what I'm saying? They didn't do all this work just because price is going to end up dropping. Because this is, this is months and months and months building up a long position, building up their portfolio so that their overall exposure is geared to the long side. It's, they're doing this for a reason. So, uh, so I'm waiting to see setups because I do think we are going to get a reaction to the downside, especially the fact that the U.S. dollar is sitting w within demand. The idea is if the U.S. dollar heads up, we're expecting this to drop, and uh, so so that's uh, that's a piece of confluence that we can't ignore. So I'll be watching this chart. I'm not going to be opening up any short positions as of yet. I am going to continue uh, monitoring the data. I want to see a, a couple more weeks data to see exactly why the institutions spent all this time building up a long position. And so um, so that's pretty much it. A few things can happen here. We can get price coming down here or all the way down here and then up or we can get price jumping through the zone and then breaking and then coming down. If that happens, we're going to get something like that. So, I want to know what they're what they're going to do. So, not taking any trades. Right now, I'm just going through a learning phase. Watching and learning. Next is the pound. So, elections happened last week. And uh, the news spun it whatever way they needed to, to explain why price dropped. We knew price was going to drop because it was hitting a weekly supply zone. Nested within a area of monthly supply. So, when price hits supply it drops and so with this candle here as we dropped then headed higher longs were closing out becoming less aggressive and shorts increased by about 1k nothing big short exposure increases from 62 percent to 66 percent thus becoming neutral or even more neutral than what we had last week 
Net positions increase from negative 29 to negative 36,000. So that builds the case for shorts. Uh, what I'm watching for is I'm waiting for this move down into this area where I will be looking to take longs from here. Once I see the data telling me that the institutions want to do exactly that, come down here to fill in their demand and then take positions up. So if that is the case, if, if that's what they're uh, planning to do right now, so drop price down into here, what they would want to do is close out their shorts or start adding shorts and adding longs at the same time. So if in the next couple of weeks we see that, shorts being added to and uh, longs being added, then they're going to be hedging their positions as price drops so they can close out their shorts down here and boom to the upside. Right now sells are neutral so that means do nothing. So I'll be waiting to see if that does play out. We're also hitting the uh, weekly 20 EMA so we could be getting reaction to the upside from here but I think that's a little bit unlikely. I'm considering um, this drop to be the most likely scenario straight down here. So with the US dollar heading up, this would head down. And then once it gets down here, I'll watch the data and, and see what's playing out with the institutions. And then I'll make my trading decision. But right now, I'm sitting out and doing nothing. US dollar, Japanese yen, this one's interesting. Because longs are remaining aggressive. They're sitting above average size. Shorts remain cooled off, sitting below average size. Long exposure jumps up 1% to 70%, and net positions increase from 52 to 55. So this supports the idea of the US dollar making a reversal here off of this weekly zone, because they're increasing their longs on the US dollar Japanese yen. So they believe, the institutions believe, that price is going to start heading higher from here and so we hit this area of support and we see a reaction to the upside and the data is showing us based on this consolidation candle that what they were doing during this consolidation was they were closing out their shorts and and uh, closing a little bit of their longs but at the end of the day they increased their exposure to the to for the for longs so going to going to wait to see how the US dollar reacts wait for nice setups here I want to see strong demand come into the market once I see strong demand come into the market then I know that they're adding to their longs and that's what I want to see I want to get in long when I see them adding longs there are they are long biased right now but anything can happen right long bias green coloration of the cells it's all good signs but the setups aren't there yet so I'll wait for the, the setups to, uh, to show themselves and then I'll make my trading decision. The Kiwi, longs increase by 3K. Shorts get closed out as price rallies hard into monthly supply. Bottom line is the sells are neutral, which means don't do anything. Net positions only negative 1.7 thousand, which is nothing. This is peanuts, so you can't do anything. It's like a neutral. Uh, bias. Thing is that if uh, US dollar starts heading up, we're gonna have a strong case for this move down here, which is what I believe is going to happen. But I think it's gonna take time to consolidate within this area here and then drop. During that consolidation, I'll be watching the data to see for signs of um, longs being closed out and more importantly, shorts being added to. Right now, coloration of the cells, blue. I want to see these color, the coloration of these cells turn red again. I want to see these numbers get big back up into this territory. And uh, then I'll look for positions to, to ride this one to the downside like this. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh, CFTC report that was released on Friday. Uh, that's my interpretation of all the data. I'm going to be doing a lot of waiting and uh, watching to see what happens because you can see the institutions are neutral biased and if we're going to take trades where the odds are in our favor that we're going to make money, we want to take the trades that the institutions are taking. Right now, 
they're very much neutral so I want them to show their hands to me first before I make my moves on that note let's uh, go and uh, point out that on Wednesday we have the US dollar rate release and then on Thursday we got a busy day we got the Swiss franc Japanese yen and the pound releasing their rates so gonna be a lot of movement on the charts this week so um, so wait patiently and just wait for the right setups to happen and if they don't happen don't take any trades that's my advice All right just like this very famous line trade what you see and not what you think and I can think a lot of things are gonna happen on this chart but the institutions are not showing me what they're doing so I want to wait until they show me what they're doing and then I'll jump in that's it for me enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you later